Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Now, there's always time to rock and roll, isn't there? So, this one is a guitar lesson for you. I'm going to teach you uh, the riff out of Baptism by Fire from ACDC's new album, Rock or Bust. Brilliant track, this one. And personally, I think the whole album not got a flaw, really. Personal opinion, anyway. Okay, uh, in this lesson I will show you the rhythm and the lead guitar parts. No solos, however, um, they're just sort of things I've figured out in the solos, so no specific solo, sorry. Anyway, let's get to it. Right, we are in standard E tuning. And I'm going to run through this pretty quick for you. Right. That is your main riff and the intro, which I believe Angus... I'm pretty sure Angus plays it. Either way, this is how it goes. Tabs will be on your screen shortly. Right, it is an open E to the G note. This is all on the E string so far. So it's open, third fret, then your fifth fret, but you strike it and slide it down to your seventh fret, okay? You're not staying on that. It's not. It's. Now we're on the A string, 5th fret, D note there, back to your 7th fret on the E, so your B note, then your open string E, then your 5th fret of the E, then you strike that twice, then you come off after the second strike, so your G note, the fret of E, like that, okay. So we'll go from start to there so far. After that note, fifth fret, sixth fret. See? Okay? Right, I'll run through that really slowly. the uh, first line, that's the first uh, bar, okay? Second time, it, it's repeated up to your, your A note, okay? After that, you do a ladder, okay? Which starts on your fourth fret of the A string, then you come up one fret to the third, then one again, so that's 4th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret of A string. Then you open E string, then your 3rd fret of E. Tiny bend, not too much. See what I did there? And Taz will be on the screen. That is the main that is your main riff as such for this song. Uh, I believe uh, that is what Steve Young plays, uh, but on the intro, Angus plays it as well, and that is also both played in the chorus. Sorry if that's getting confusing. I'll explain it as I go along anyway. So that's, they both play this. In the chorus and on the intro. 
after uh, I think it's I think it's four bars of the intro, then when it kicks in, there's an octave higher, which goes something like this. Hopefully, I'm not going to mess this one up now. <laughs> I believe Angus plays this part, uh, but I can't be 100% sure from the recording. But that is what it plays anyway, okay? That's what I figured out earlier. Okay, so it's exactly the, they're the same notes, just one octave higher, okay? So we're starting on the A, A string here. A string that is 7th fret. So it's like the same sort of thing, um, same pattern, same pattern as play. So it's so it's seven on the A, five on the D. Then you're striking on the seven, but you're not playing that note. Remember, because that is also an A. That's the octave higher of the A. You see, tabs as I said, they'll be coming up. Uh, so you're sliding it down to the B, which is a ninth fret on the D string. Then vibrato on the G string, that is your seventh fret. Then you're coming back to the ninth fret of the D. There. Then you strike in. Uh, the seventh fret of the A, then roll it over from that to the seventh fret of the D. Okay. Then you want to strike that again. Then you're coming up to the fifth fret of D, which is your G note. Then do the ladder as you would. So that is seven, eight, back to far, back to far, fifth, sorry. Then you're finishing on your E note there. Seventh fret of your A. Now that is played throughout the, uh, out the verses as well. That is not played in the solo where he's singing Baptism by Fire, okay? Uh, and the other the, the other part of that, so after the... So that is repeated. Then it's the, the ladder, which is, you're starting on the, uh, what's that, sorry? The sixth fret of G. Sixth, fifth, fourth, that's the ladder up. Then you wanna bring your pinky over to seventh fret of the A, then fifth fret of D, then finishing on the seventh fret of A. Okay, right. Now the uh, more complex part is out of the way. Let's get into the verse part, which is just chords. Okay, so it's um, E. Power chord. That is an two strikes on the A to a G. Back to the E. Say. Then it's got this little, uh, which I believe is played. You can play it with the two open, the B and E open, if it's easier for you. Or you can play it with with uh, your E there, which is uh, for you who don't know, it's fifth fret on B and fourth fret on G, and then you can also strike your open E string, like so. It's just more of a ring. And then it's and then your riffs are played. Like so, uh, and then just listen to the song, and you can figure out when when the parts are, obviously. But that's that's all there is 
in that. Okay, then you got the pre-chorus, which is ride, 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 up all night. Okay, which is just on A to E. Then this little flick, which reminds me very much of uh, Live Wire, which is B, B power chord, then A, E, back to B, then just. Then you're running on D. Okay? So I'll play that completely. Sorry, no, that's not what it does. <laughs> And that really is uh, all the riffs in the song, I believe. Uh, they're just repeated throughout. Just listen and hear where they are. But that's that's it from me. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you. Uh, I've just tried to keep it as simple as possible for uh, those who haven't been playing guitar as long. And uh, for those who have, the tabs should have been on your screen. And now they should be gone. I've been Rockin' Dave. Thank you very much. Goodbye.